Greetings everyone. Welcome to another message from The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is Let God Be There for You. For those of you that know me, you know I, I like uh, various forms of music, various genres, and things like that. I ran, a, I heard a song the other day that kind of struck a chord with me. I love this song. I hadn't heard it in many, many years. And it's called Let Me Be There by Olivia Newton-John. It's really a good song, but that brought me a message that I want to give to you. Some of the lyrics to that song go, Wherever you go, wherever you may wander in your life, Surely you know I always want to be there, holding your hand and standing by to catch you when you fall, seeing you through everything you do. Another passage of the song says, Whenever you feel you need a friend to lean on, where I am, whenever you call, you know I'll be there. And the chorus to the song goes, Let me be there in your morning, let me be there in your night. Let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. All I ask you is let me be there. I'm sure Olivia Newton-John was talking about a relationship uh, between a man and a woman trying to be there for each other, that kind of thing. But in this context, I want to talk about you letting God be there for you. Oftentimes, we out there in life trying to do things on our own, which is not a problem, but you need to seek God's guidance as you're going through life and letting God be there for you. Because if you ask, He will always be there for you. Even back in the day, Solomon, when he came into power, realized that his father had a special relationship with God and that he needed to do the same thing in order to be successful. Second Chronicles 1, 8-10 reads, Solomon replied to God, You showed faithful love to David, my father, and now you have made me king in his place. O oh Lord God, please continue to keep your promise to David my father, for you have made me king over, over a people as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me the wisdom and knowledge to lead them properly, for who could possibly govern this, peop this great people of yours? So Solomon was asking God to be with him as he was with his father, because he realized he couldn't do it by himself. You too need to realize you can't live life by yourself. When I say by yourself, not necessarily someone with you. If you have a spouse, that's fine. But if you live alone, you ought to know that God is there for you. You just keep on praising his name and you'll see the benefits of him in your life. Just keep on praising the Lord and he will deliver you. Psalms 42 11 reads why am I discouraged why is my heart so sad I will put my hope in God I will praise him again my Savior and my God some of you may say hey I believe in God but I'm going through a lot of problems I'm wondering if God is there for me you may not understand the reasons why you're going through your problems but God is always there with you he will not fail you we must seek God's help in dealing with life's problems. Daniel 2, 18-21 reads, He urged them to ask the God of heaven to show them his mercy by telling them the secret, so they would not be executed along with the other wise men of Babylon. That night the secret was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven. He said, Praise the name of God forever and ever. For he has all wisdom and power. He controls the course of the world events. He removes the kings and sets up the kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. All that simply means is that God controls everything. You may not understand why you're dealing with a certain things, but some, sometimes those setbacks are set up for God to bless you in the future. He's preparing you for something great in your future, but you must Take heed. God will have you doing some things you may not understand why you're doing it, but you need to listen to God and, and walk 
uh, in his will. So no matter where you are in life, things will get tough. Some things will get strange. But you need to know that God is there for you and he will always be there for you. Why don't you lean on the Lord for your support and comfort? And with that, be blessed.